Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a case from one of Thermaltake's newest ranges, the Commander C36 TG ARGB Edition. The Commander series, one case, six personalities, maximum airflow, compact with lots of bling. If this was the mission statement given to the design team to create the Commander series, I personally think they flipping nailed it. But let's be honest, Thermaltake isn't really known for cases providing really good airflow, but for really showing off what's inside a great looking shell. But don't get me wrong, Thermaltake do have some great cases for airflow, but they are either show pieces which aren't practical if you have pets, or have them around low enough for the attention of little children who want to investigate, or they just look pretty ugly. Well, until now that is. Coming in an all over matte black finish with two huge 200mm ARGB fans pre-installed, a mesh front that looks great with tempered glass side panels, the C36 really does tick almost every PC lover's boxes, so let's take a closer look. Well coming with two built in 200mm 5V ARGB front fans with a built in ARGB switchboard for different lighting modes which support both ARGB color synchronization with ASUS, MSI, Gigabyte and ASRock motherboards and an RGB color selection button via the front panel allowing you to select between wave, flow, RGB, radar, breathe, fully lighted, single color and off. Sporting a gaming design mesh front panel and built-in PSU cover makes this case ideal for gamers because of its superior hardware support and is also optimized for excellent cooling capability. The case is able to house up to two 200mm, two 140mm or three 120mm front fans. Also up to two 140mm fans on the top to allow users to build a complete high-end system with two-way radiator mounting that supports up to three 16mm radiators and a built-in vertical GPU riser support bracket. What I do like is the return of the mounting of the tempered glass panel which makes it easier to remove and makes it completely seamless. Also, the Commander C36 TG ARGB has an outstanding expandability with support for a tower CPU cooler with a maximum height of 180 millimeters, a dual expansion slot VJ of up to 310 millimeters in length with reservoir and a power supply with a length of up to 200 millimeters. So now moving on to the front panel, which houses the power button, reset button, RGB controller button, power LED and hard drive LED, two USB 3.0 ports and mic and headphone ports. Also on the top of the case you will find a typical magnetic dust filter and additional dust filters in the front panel assembly and under the case for the PSU. Whilst I'm on the undercarriage I will point out that the height of the feet does give you almost one inch of clearance which is fantastic for airflow. Okay, so now on to storage, the C36 has 5 brackets in total, but only 3 of them brackets can be used for 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch disk drives, whereas the other 2 can only be used for 2.5 inch disk drives. So despite its smaller footprint of 18.2 times by 9.2 times 20.8 inches, the C36 can house up to a full size ATX motherboard and a full custom loop, which is quite impressive to be fair. Sitting currently at around 100 Great British Pounds, I do think you would be getting very good value for money. Well, as far as the rear fan goes, I would prefer it to be ARGB, but it could be a premium edition later on down the line, where all the fans could be ARGB, grommets put in and comes with the riser cable maybe. I don't know, but as far as it is, this case is absolutely brilliant value for money and it does get our must have award. So if you want to buy this case, the link can be found in the description below. This is all we have time for in this video, I'm afraid. So if you like this video, hit like. If you loved it, subscribe. I've been your host, Jesse. Goodbye.